boys and girls, in this video I'm going to show you how to draw this picture. You can see that this little girl has a mask on, but when we fold it down we can see her smile. Remember that just because we are wearing our masks doesn't mean we aren't smiling. So, for this picture, all you need is a white piece of paper and any colours that you have at home. Okay boys and girls, so we are going to start with our page and we're going to have to fold. We are going to fold from the bottom. I want you to take a little part of the page, about a quarter, and we're going to fold it up. Make sure when you're folding it that you fold it nice and tightly and that it's even. You can see here yeah, that my line is showing, so I folded it very tight. Now I'm going to take a darker colour and I'm going to draw the outline of my face. On this part you can go nice and slowly you don't have to rush and while you're doing this make sure that you're holding your folded piece down nicely so it doesn't move around while you are drawing you can see I'm finishing the part of the face now make sure you're drawing nicely and now I'm going to draw some neck and some shoulders for my face and there we go the shoulders and the neck are finished now we're going to open up and you can see that our face is incomplete on this side so now I want you to complete the drawing you're going to go around and I want you to join up to the other line again. Once that is finished, we're going to draw a neck and shoulders again on this side. And as you can see, we've got a lot more space on this side. So for the arms, I just want you to carry on that line all the way to the end of the page. And you don't have to do anything else on this part yet because we'll carry on when we are finished with the rest of the face. When we're done, we're going to fold that page back up and now we're going to draw some ears. And now boys and girls, we are going to draw some eyes on our face. We're going to make little half circles. You can see I did the one, now we're going to do the other one. And once you're finished with that, we are going to join the lines at the bottom. And on the inside, we're going to draw more little half circles. I want you to do two on each eye. And now in the smallest half circle, I want you to draw a line down the middle of it. And then you're going to color them in for me. This is the pupil. And that is the little black part of our eye. And now I'm drawing the mask. And this is now done on the folded piece of paper. Be careful when you're doing this that you don't go onto the other side. Only draw on the folded part. Now I'm just making it a little bit darker around the mask. And now I'm opening up and now you can see our ears look a little bit weird. So I'm just going to draw the other part of our ears so that they are finished on this side. And then I'm going to draw a little nose. And now we're going to draw a mouth and obviously we are smiling under our mask because I know I am so you can draw your smile however you want to this is just an example so you don't have to copy this you can make one with your mouth open with your teeth showing however you want to draw it and now I'm giving some eyebrows and now boys and girls I want you to 
match to what your face looks like so if, if you've got light eyebrows and you make them light if you've got darker ones you make them dark and now we're going to make some eyelashes for our eyes Now boys and girls we are going to decorate our mask. I want you to decorate the mask however you want to. You can decorate it to how one of your masks look that you have at home or one that you wear or you can make your own mask. However you want to do it you can do it. Now our mask is all finished, I'm going to colour in by my eyes now and I want you to colour in that part the same colour that your eyes are. So if your eyes are brown, you must colour in brown there. If your eyes are blue, you must colour in blue. I'm then going to open up and now I want you to colour in by your mouth. And then next, we're going to give our face some hair. So again, I want you if, to draw your hair the same way that yours is. So if you've got short hair, you must draw short hair. If you've got curly hair, you must draw curly hair. And whatever color your hair is, that's the same color you must draw on this one. Okay, now that our hair is finished, we are going to go to the bottom of our page and now we are going to decorate and we're going to put some clothes on. So you can now decide whatever you want. You can draw what you are wearing right now or you can just draw any clothes that you want to. So I'm just making a little top for my person. I'm 
canvas the outlining on the side to make it a little bit darker. Now I'm going to draw lines so you can see where our arms are. And obviously we have two arms so we are going to do two lines. And then I'm just making a little space so you can see them nicely. And boys and girls, on this part you can do it however you want to. And now that I'm finished, I'm just going to colour it in. And I'm all done now we are going to fold that page back up and now we need to draw the clothes on this side as well so using the same color you're going to draw a little top part over here and just color in by your shoulders And we're all done now. Now we are going to decorate the rest of our page. Now you can do whatever you want. You can see I'm busy drawing little circles, but if you want to do stripes, if you want to draw something else, you can do whatever you want to. Just make sure it's colorful and that it uses all the empty spaces behind us. So now I'm finished and I'm going to fold up and we need to decorate over here as well again. Again, nice bright colorful colors and whatever you did on the other side you must do here again. Okay boys and girls, we are now finished with our picture. I hope you had lots of fun and I just want you to remember that when we are at school and even though you can't see our faces, we are always smiling underneath there. I hope you have a lovely weekend. Bye!